to the Elective Rotation Podcast, Critical Care Pharmacy Minute, where I discuss one critical care pharmacy thought in about one minute. I'm Pharmacy Joe of PharmacyJoe.com. You've started fluid replacement in a patient with diabetic ketoacidosis or hyperosmolar or hyperglycemic state. What do you do about their potassium? Unless the serum potassium is above normal, potassium replacement should be initiated immediately. It is important to get ahead of potassium levels since fluid replacement and insulin administration will lower the serum potassium. If the initial serum potassium is below 3.3 MEQs per liter, and especially if the patient was hypokalemic prior to therapy, very aggressive replacement of potassium at rates of 20 to 40 MEQs per hour might be necessary. Be cautious about potassium replacement if renal function remains depressed or urine output does not increase to a level greater than 50 ml per hour. Careful monitoring of the serum potassium is essential for the management of both DKA and HHS. You can get more in-depth training on how to manage patients with DKA or hyperosmolar hyperglycemic state in my Critical Care Pharmacy Academy with my masterclass on IV insulin use in the ICU. To learn more, go to pharmacyjoe.com slash academy.